Hey, what's going on YouTube? This is a review of the Nike Swingman Chicago Bulls the Jordan jersey. This is the one that came out in 2018. I think it was May 31st, actually, of 2018. And I have it paired with the Chicago Bulls Extra Large logo hat, which you can find at Lids. Lids.com or the Lids store. So that's a very nice, that's definitely a nice pairing right there. But let's go and put the hat to the side and get to this particular purpose of this video. And this is really just review of the jersey for anybody out there that's on the fence about purchasing this jersey. This is the one that retails for 120 Of course, there's the other version out there that retails for 400 So let's go ahead and talk about the tag that's on here. Now, this is the Connect tag that I guess that's on all the Swing Man jerseys. I'm not really familiar but it is on this jersey here, and this is paper. You can pull that off if you like. It's up to you. But you can connect with your phone, and I guess it's supposed to track certain things that it's supposed to track. I'm not real clear on the details, but however, it does feature that with this particular jersey. So this logo here is sewn in, which I'm very surprised. But this is sewn on. This is paper. Of course, going up here, you have the tag here and the Nike dry fit explaining the jersey itself and the material that it's made of. And panning to this side, you have another NBA logo tag on this side here. Now, go ahead and fold the jersey all the way down and let it, you know, let it dangle a little bit. Of course, you got the Bulls, you got the 23, you got the Nike here. My only beef with this jersey is everything has a screen iron logo print feel to it the, the nike check here as i pick it up and i feel it there's no gear so it's iron on screen print same with the letters same with the numbers and my only disappointment with that and i do mean major disappointment from a nike brand this should, and for the price that is retailing that this should have been sewn in this should have been sewn in this is very disappointing because now you have to take extreme care caring for this jersey putting it up in a nice area where it don't get too hot and the labels and the logos start peeling and bubbling up because the jersey is getting too hot and things of that nature numbers start peeling things start flaking and then your jersey is ruined so it has to be taken with extreme care on how you store it and condition and things of that nature but this is my major complaint and disappointment with a jersey that retails this much anybody that knows you can go online and find a jersey that actually is sewn and sewn in either for a hundred or less than this and you can definitely find a screen print jersey of michael jordan for far less than a retail of 120 all right. And the reason why I compare that, because I compare that to the Kobe Bryant jersey that I have here. And I love this Adidas jersey because everything is sewn in. So give major props to Adidas. The NBA logo that's sewn in. So it's not going nowhere. This is not no screen print here. So that's sewn in. The Adidas logo sewn in. The Lakers uh logo and name plate sewn in so this here jersey will stand the test of time as long as you keep it you know and don't you know put it where and get it all dirty you know what i mean but as far as the quality of it and caring for it and long last longevity if i will this jersey will stand the test of time because everything is sewn in as long as you don't get the white part dirty things of that nature and again everything is sewn in on the back so you know that this jersey would definitely last the test of time and that's why i love this jersey uh kobe bryant and with lebron james going to the lakers who knows kobe might come out of retirement and want to get another go so <laughs> but when i compare this jersey here to this bulls i am very disappointed because again now i have to take extreme care on how to keep this jersey in good cool condition when i store it so these logos and labels and things don't start to bubble up peel start to flake off crack and things of that nature all right turn it on the back 
same thing here again everything even there this logo is the screen print on so is the jordan again just the letters are screen print ironed on and as well as the number but again with that being my major beef for this jersey at the price that it retails for knowing that with a good research out there you can find either a screen print jersey which is cheaper than the retail of this or you can actually spend a money and get a sewn in uh, logos and names and things of that nature for either the same or retail of 120 or less than the 400 retail jersey that's out there as well so again that's my only major beef with this jersey my purpose of person is just to have it as your casual wear nba playoffs come on i might want to just wear my chicago bulls all right i'm a you know jordan fan so i just want to kick back with my Chicago Bull hat on, got my jersey on, and I'm not going to wear it too much where it's to get damaged and beat up. However, I will find me one that's sewn in, and this will become a collector's item. And again, I will pair this with the classic He Got Game Jordans that's coming out in August 25th, 2018. So that's the reason for the whole jersey, the hat, the jersey, and then the classic He Got Games Jordan 13s. So that's what it's going to be paired with. But just a quick video for people that was on the fence about buying a jersey, want to know how to, you know, the feel of the jersey. It feels good. But again, my only beef is the logos, the lettering. If you don't store it, if you store it in a hot area, you're going to go back to it. And you're going to be disappointed because the numbers and letters going to start bubbling up, start peeling, flaking, cracking, and you're going to be highly pissed. But if you put it, you know, store it real good in a cool, nice area, it should be good and less wear, you know, just casual wear. It should last you a good deal. All right. But that's just to wrap this video on up. And, uh, hey, have a good one.